Hey everybody, welcome back for another one. Today we are going to be knocking out a quick project in the garage. As you can see, it's a little bit more dim in here than it usually is, and that's because over the last couple months while I've been working on things in the house and around the house, the lights in the garage have been dying. I originally had eight and four of them are dead, so I've lost about half of my output. They were cheap from Amazon, and I don't wanna deal with Amazon returns or warranty, so I'm just not using those. And instead, I've bought myself five of these giant two foot by four foot LED panels, and they are super thin. So we are going to mount these five panels in the ceiling and replace the current ones. These are actually one and a half times the output that I have now with just four lights. And we're going to put one over the machine corner. We're gonna put one back on the other side of my pop-up tent. And we're gonna put the other three along the front of the garage so that I have most of the light coming this way, which is the direction that I filmed. To get started, we need to make brackets to hold these up because these are thin and don't really have any way to hold them onto a flat ceiling. So, since I have my miter saw out for doing some home interior projects, we're gonna start with cutting these down to rough lengths, and then we're gonna rip them to the right height. We're gonna put some grooves in them, we're gonna join them together, we're gonna mount them to the ceiling, and then we're gonna put these lights in. So, let's get started. And with that, the light brackets are complete. And as you can see, they are actually already installed. I had a couple videos I wanted to start working on and I wanted the better lighting. So I rushed through the project and got all the lights hung so that I could start recording 
little bit of some upcoming videos. But I did record the process of installing one of the lights. The first thing that I needed to do was to clean off the ceiling and remove a couple things from the ceiling I didn't need. And the first big piece was the fan filters that I made a while ago. I will be revisiting that design, but for now I just need them to go so that I can mount the light. The next thing to do was to measure the location of the lights. I started with centering the first light from left to right in the garage and then had it about 18 inches from the wall. And with those markings on the ceiling, I could line up the bracket where I wanted it. To mark the locations of the anchors, I installed some wood screws into the mounting holes held the light fixture up to the ceiling and then used a rubber mallet on all four of the screws to make indents into the ceiling. After that, even though it says they aren't needed, I wanted to make sure that the holes were in the right location. So I pre-drilled all of those holes and then installed the anchors, which are just simple drywall anchors. Each anchor is designed to hold 65 pounds in a pure tension load. And I have four of them on each fixture, so that should be plenty for each of these lights. From there, the next step was to simply mount the fixture to the ceiling. I started off by taping two screws into the fixture and then using the support rod that I used before to hold the light up in the right location and then punched through the tape, screwed in one corner and then screwed in the adjacent corner through the tape and then I added the other two screws and fully fastened it to the ceiling. Once it's up and fully mounted, the next thing to do is to slide the light in. I have a temporary wiring hooked up to this just to make sure it works. So with that wiring kind of hanging, I slid it into the bracket, plugged the light in, and there we have it. The lights are fully installed. After I did the first one, I did the ones to the left and the right of it, and then I came back and I did the ones over my shoulders. I left two of the previous lights in. They are over my shoulders. They are currently turned off. I can turn them on for a little bit more light if I'm working. And then I have two other lights that are not plugged in that I will be mounting on stands in case I need more direct light for a particular shot. With that, we are at the end of the video. I am really happy with the amount of light that's in here now. Just from looking at the viewfinder, it seems like it is so much brighter on the video. I have the exact same settings on this shot as I did the first couple shots and it just looks so much better. Um, it's easier on my eyes as well. And with these additional lights, it's almost a little bit too bright. Uh, anyways, thank you for coming along on this build. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun getting in front of the camera again. I've just been so busy with working on stuff in the house, getting it ready for selling it. Um, I've also been working on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes for upcoming videos and they're just taking a long time to get out. So be a little bit more patient with me. More videos are on their way. Um, I'll probably be releasing quick little videos like this to kind of span the time until those big projects come out, but they are on the way. With that, thank you again, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.